Okay, we're sitting on the Earth at Havana on the runway, and we're going to try to set up a flight to Mars. Uh, let's bring up TransX on both sides. And the first thing we want to do is escape and forward. And then we want to choose, there we go, Mars. Now, we want to set up from view, we want an eject plan. We've got prograde, and we'll add a bunch of prograde. And we'll just see how it looks as it gets up there. That's not too bad. And let's advance the date and see what we've got. Not too bad. We could, we'll be departing, uh, it appears as though the departure would be somewhere in here. So it should be easy to swing the plane. We'll just go over to plane change. And what we see what we're doing is swinging that white line around to lay it across at our intercept. And we can see our closest point here is going to be about 158. So we're going to swing a little bit further. And let's see what we do with, uh, go back to some prograde change. That's way high. Let's reduce. Uh, the other direction, reduce to find and start backing off. 28, that's really close. And now we'll just go up to date and maybe go to fine. Plus isn't working and minus isn't working. Let's try a little bit of plane change. That's really close. That's, uh, as you can see, forward. We're, we're pretty much there. Okay, what we want to do is um, back up and show the date, and it's 54367.38, and I'm going to advance the date, and we're, you can't see it, unfortunately. And but we're getting close. Okay, we've just turned on to five four three six seven uh, at midnight. And let's now take a look here. And what we want to do and set up is first of all bring up our graph projection and change that to plan. And now uh, we'll drop the P distance down to, oh, it doesn't matter terribly, but let's just try it around 65, 68, which is going to be a couple hundred or less kilometers above the surface. And we want to bring our, I'm going to bring this back again, rotating to the right to bring the eject uh, orientation, bring the white line around to meet the green ellipse. Notice the green ellipse is coming out to the edge. That needs to happen. And if it's at, if the green ellipse is at the edge and we bring our white line to almost on top of it, this gives us what our uh, heading would be, which is 19 degrees, which isn't that great. That's almost due north. It would be great if we could get a heading different. I'm going to advance the time 10. Now I've got a warp 100. Notice that it's increasing. I'm actually going to go to 1,000 for a moment. Notice the green ellipse is moving on up. I'm backing off to 100. I'm going to pull around. I'll put the white line over it. Heading is now 37 degrees. It's uh, improving. We want it to swing up to 90 if possible. So I'm going to go warp 1000 again for a few seconds. And I'm also clicking the minus sign. And now back to warp 100. The minus sign is to keep the white line over the green ellipse as we're moving. And the heading is up to 56. So we're going to keep an eye on the 56 and watch it climb. And I'm going to go warp 1,000. It's now up to 62, 63. Still warping ahead. 68, 69. In the 70s now. And, uh, okay, a little further. Warping 1,000. 83, 84, 85, 86. I'm going to back down to warp 10. We're up to 85, almost 86 degrees. It's getting close. Let's go warp 100. And 
and 87. So we're almost at 90 degrees. So we're getting close to our launch point. 88 degrees. Notice that white line is loving to back off. I'm going to pull orientation around and place that white line just ahead of where we are. And we're getting really close. We're basically at 89.64. It's time to go. And uh, this tutorial will stop at this point, and uh, the next one will pick up from this point and do the launch sequence.